Righto, all cleaned up and vacuumed and I mean it's fairly clean, I haven't given it a full once over. So I haven't packed that shit away yet. Oh, that funnel, that funnel will go down there. Put these new new tips. Put them away. My oil can. Put that back in the drawer where it belongs. Before I actually cut myself. That can go just fuck right off somewhere. They can fuck right off. They're the old tips. That don't lose that. Boring bar. A couple of tips. And another spanner. Look at that. Beautiful. All done. Oh, except for I've got to clean that fucking lathe off as a whole heap of cast on with that shit. I cleaned it last time I used it. Cleaned it, give it a good wipe and a good oil down. So, anyway. That's a little bit tidier. That rag's been doing the rounds in here for fucking months, I'll throw it out. Alright. outside shortly so now what I'm gonna do so I can tidy and get a bit more bench space back I'm gonna pull this apart first get rid of this so as I said I only, only need this assembly here so I'm gonna pull it apart oh, okay. oh that's the invoice for it so he's gonna take those off first and undo those and it should just fall out. Can only hope. So this thing was sold as a core too, and I worked out why because you can't turn it. So I'm guessing there's something fucked in here. Doesn't look like it's in here. Or well, I hope it's not in there because I want those teeth to look reasonable. So I don't know where it is. There's a little bit. Of, you can see a little bit of wear on that tooth there. So I don't know if you can see it. You should be able to see that. But that'll be good enough for what I want. So let me put you somewhere out of the way and I'll commence to pull this thing apart. Righto, after a little bit of fucking around, I got it off. What I'm going to do, because I need to machine this, I need to get that spigot off, machine that down so I've got a flat surface. So even if I come down as far as the bolts, um, so I'm going to unbolt that crown wheel and then stick it in the lathe because I can hold on to it. Hold on to it here. First, because I just got to, I want to touch this up because I fucking mangled it where I uh, knocked the baron off. <coughs> Fuck me chisel up. Let me can see that. Fuck me chisel. Um, yeah, and just skim that first. I actually had a thought because I haven't wanted a gear set to put on top of this. I'll be able to, to put that in there and then excuse me while I duck down the arse end of the world look at this camshaft that's got sawdust all over it and mount that on there and put a lamp on it but I don't know if that's going to be tall enough for a floor lamp but anyway Maybe Amit will see this and have an idea because I think the gear set is not going to be much longer than that. So I could I could easily make that fit in there. Just take that thread off 
and that shoulder should fit in there nicely. But anyway, we'll worry about that later. Actually, I was surprised these bolts came out with a little rattle gun. It's only a 300 newton meter rattle gun. I would have thought they would have been probably a little bit tighter than that. But let's see how we go. What are they? They're not. Definitely not 19s. Maybe some spastic size. Or 17s. No, not really. Not really a spastic size. Let's see how we go. They're undone. Okay. I'll learn it. Where's Bertha? Big Bertha will get it off. That's 1200, I think, or 1100 Newton meters of torque. If that doesn't get it off, then it stays there. If I get the fucking solenoid over here. Ah, yeah. Don't argue with me. There we go. It's going to be much easier to put in the lathe. So what I'll do is I'll go and besides squash my finger. I'll go put that in the lathe and when we're ready to do something I'll um, I'll bring it back. Right now let's see if we can do this without destroying it. Eh? Oops. This is where the fun stuff starts. Actually, I'm sure that's FT. See how we're going for
hopefully that'll fit. Boom. Piss me off, bitch. Now, I'm going to get this fucking thing back out. Now this part in tool, I mean, look at the size of the fucking thing. It's never been really successful. All it's ever done is give me the shits. Counting that done. That's more than a big enough base for it to sit on. It's just to shit the machine because sticking out so far from the chuck and it chattered it and vibrated its ass off if I tried to take any more than about half a mil each cut. But um, anyway, it's done now. So that's it. I'll get it out and get it down on the bench and maybe bolt the um, the crown wheel back on it. Righto. Now I've got this done. Got that bolted back on. Also, in between time, I pulled the pinion out of the diff, and it's about the same size as it's actually the Commodore one's a little bit bigger. Um, I dug out a rod and a piston, but I had another holding piston, and it just so happens that the, the Leyland pins fit perfectly. So I've tapped the top there for the grub screw because that's easier to mount on the flat on the thing I mean I, I could still mount the the later ones but because of the dome in them it's gonna be a bit harder to get the hole through the center and, and then um, bolt it down I mean still do it but I think this uh, the, the other one will probably <coughs> look nicer anyway so um, and I've got a bit of a conundrum here because Emmett wants me to put like that um, to make a floor lamp. I don't think it's going to be tall enough. Even with the, even if I put a, a gear set there instead of that pinion gear, the gear set's not going to be a whole, much, a whole lot longer than that. And I've still got to find one yet. I'm having trouble finding one, so. Um, or, you can either use that as a tall desk lamp, or I've got this half, this short cam here. I can bolt that on there. 
and put the lampshade on top of that. I think that, that'll look nice like that. Instead of putting like an, another air filter on it, that'll look pretty good like that, I think. Just as a lamp, you know, it's a little bit higher than the air filter. Actually, it won't be that much higher, to be honest with you. Um, and I, I can chop a little bit off anyway to make it a bit lower, so that's not really an issue. I don't know, I think that looks nice like that. It's utilizing the entire diff center. Well, I mean, like I said, it's, that's the holder one, but it's neither here nor there. It's nearly identical to the Nissan one. Um, just the holder one, I've cut the, the thread off the end. So it sits down in there. And what I'm gonna do with that aluminium, I'm gonna make a collar that fits over there, sort of equal with that outside diameter and have that slide into it and then secure it with a grub screw I mean I've still do the same with this drill it, what, determine what, which, which way is going to be back drill a hole, tap it and put a grub screw in there to stop that coming out um, so yeah I mean I'd like to be able to keep that the drive gear on it if possible um, I mean, I could always cut that cam down, that's really not an issue. Because it's left over, that come out of Amit's table anyhow, so... It goes into one of his lamps even better, but I've taken a couple of photos and I'm going to send it to him just in case he doesn't see this video today. Um, I'm going to duck in and have some lunch and then come back out and fiddle around a bit more. I might tidy all this up again. And then get to stripping those two lamps down. I'll put Amit's lamp shade away so it doesn't get damaged pull that other one apart, pull the wiring and everything out of those boxes um, and that'll be a productive day. That, that is going to be very steady. I might even still glue some, I think I've got some silicon pads left. Maybe not, I must have used them all. That's right, they weren't very expensive, I'll get some more. Um, just put underneath it. So it's not going to damage anything, well it shouldn't damage anything anyway. But Uh, just like a fucking thing. got to butcher these things to get anything out of them because they're not supposed to come apart technically so and the only way you can get them all apart is to cut them you can't get these apart well you can't you can but you can't disconnect the wiring it's just you'd fuck it so it's much easier I did the same with the last one I've made it's easy just to split that and join the wires because they go down inside the tubing because I'll need that end with the thread in it for the, the light globe holder to go in. So that's those done. This open, I better put those where they won't get lost. See so the tops that hold the things down. Give me aluminium, aluminium as the Americans like to say. 70 mil. And it's all good. And of course the, um, the nice shiny air filter. I think that might call it a day. I know it's not real late, but that's uh, what will be going inside that to hold on the lamp. I've got no real use for that, but I'm going to keep it because for reasons. So I've got a bit, a fair bit achieved today, actually. So I'm going to go inside and get all this video off, edit it, and upload it. Um, like I said, I've got they're tapped, ready to go. I want to finish, I want to wash all this first before I bolt it together. Um, 
and I want to make the aluminium thing so I might do that tomorrow for the clock to go in that to clamp in there so I will do that tomorrow with that bit of aluminium I'll stick it in the mill in the mill in the saw and take a bit off um, and it's shade to go on top of his little lamp and uh, yeah let me turn some stuff off um, so and I've got this to deal with I've got to work out what I'm going to do with this but I'll, um, I'll speak to Amit tonight see which route he wants to go I might be able to pull another cam out just hang on a sec I've got that bare block out the back here with my stash and that's got a cam out I don't know how hard it's going to be to get it out it's a little bit different to the other ones because the other ones are a chain drive this one looks like there's gear in it so I don't know what lane on that come out of whether it was a later model or a truck engine or but I think I might pull that one out because that'll be two cams the same so that could be an issue on its own but I might actually get some spray and spray it now let it sit overnight try and get that out tomorrow I think that's what I'll do I'll pull that out and join it with the other cam looks like the way to go all right that's going to be it for the day Thanks for hanging around. Stay safe. Peace. Well, there you go. There's the product, a little bit of brute force. A big drift and a five pound hammer. But it's the same mode, but see the, the difference? One's got a fucking gear drive, one's a chain drive. But I can <coughs> bolt these end to end and I think that'll work as a floor lamp particularly if I fit it on top of that I'm going to do the same here I, I drill drill that tap it out say M10, M12 do the same on the cam and on the other cam and then screw them together screw them into that so I'll play with that tomorrow, take those gears off, take that gear off at the end and um, I think that might work, that, I think that might look a little bit better, just I can't find a gear set to put on this but if I can mount them on top of that I think that'll put grub screws in there and then I'll make a collar to sit over it sort of slide it in, lock it in, then slide the collar down over it just to make it look pretty, it's all a little bit of silver amongst the dark grey I think that'll come up nice with two cams sitting on top I don't know why those sort of lobes are, are clean, they're not rusted oh, those ones are I wonder if that cam's been fucking redone Looks like it has, you know. You can see the grind marks on the side of the lobes. Judging by the cam that I put in the Naked V8 that came out of it, Leyland, it was fucked well and truly. I'm guessing that's one of the, the issues with the Leyland cams is they wore out. So whoever owned that one has obviously had it ref refurbed by the looks of that. I mean, I could get the furnace out and measure the lobe sizes and shit like that but that looks the same anyway they'll both be sandblasted cleaned all I'll put that one in the lathe and sand it and then or we'll sandblast it first then sand it um, so I get the shine on the lobes the same as it same as this one oh uh, yeah anyway that's it for the day I thought I was done but I thought no fuck it while I'm out there I'll get that other cam out and at the swing the hammer fucking hard but it ended up budging you can see where it was locked solid in particularly that end there because that end had, the, had a welsh plug on it so any moisture that got in there didn't come out so there we go anyway that's it peace <laughs>